Hello, welcome. I'm Miss Molly with Making Music Matters, and in this video, I will show you how to play the accompaniment line for Shipping Up to Boston. This is video number two in the Shipping Up to Boston series. This is the music we're using. If you don't have a copy, you can find it on our website, MMM Boston. That's mmmboston.org. There's a banner on the front page that says something like, students click here to continue learning. So click on that link, go past all the videos, and at the bottom you should find a list of documents on a Google Drive, and, and you can click on Shipping Up to Boston and access it that way. Or you don't really need the music, especially for this uh, portion of it, but let me show you what we do have if you're looking at the music. The important part for the first line. Got. This note is D1 and G2. This is a crunch. This note is again D1 and G2. I didn't write it down again because it's already here. It's repeated. And then you have open E and A low one. That sounds like a lot of information. Let me break it down. So for D1 and G2, I suggest you can pick either one. But honestly, I suggest just playing D1. It's your D string, first finger. Should be right on your tape. This violin doesn't have tapes. If yours does also not have tapes, you know, it's about yeah, that far from the scroll. All right, so go D1, and it's a long, short. Do that again, that's all. Good, again. And again. Good. The crunch. This is probably one of the most fun parts. It's the time you get to make a horrible noise on purpose. So you're gonna take your bow, put it on the G string, your lowest string, press down as hard as you can without breaking anything, and just pull the bow a little bit. It should sound terrible. We want it to sound awful. So, crunch. Good. Again, crunch. One more, crunch. Right. So after the crunch comes D1 again, same thing. And I suggest for the next note, just playing open E. If you know where A low one is, you want to play that, that's fine, but I would suggest just open E. And it's a long note, so long open E. Go. Good, again. One more time. So that whole sequence in order. D1. Crunch. D1. Open E. And then you just do that sequence over and over through the entire piece. Start at the beginning, D1, crunch, D1, E. Now that can go either faster or slower. If you are starting with that and switching to the melody, the melody is going to feel super fast if you do it at that tempo. If you play the melody slower, the accompaniment is going to feel super slow. So upcoming in this series, I will demonstrate four different tempos of shipping up to Boston. So you look at them all, see which one you prefer and then maybe you can get it faster or slower. And thank you for watching.